just as it's about to fall off the edge of a cliff, go and sell it. Hey everyone, I'm always warning you against trend bags, but as a lot of you know, I actually have got trend bags myself and there's a way that if, if for example, there is a trend bag that's really catching my eye and I can't get it off my mind, there have been things that I've done in the past where I've actually uh, bought it pre-loved, so I've saved some money on it, or what you can do as well is if you care, by the way, because I know a lot of you don't, but some of you do. Another thing you can do is buy it, love it and enjoy it, and then just as it's about to fall off the edge of a cliff, go and sell it. But I actually have some trend bags that I love, and I've been using loads, including one that you've seen just recently, which is this cute little backpack, which is from Fendi. I bought this for about 30 or 40% off from Bista Village. This is definitely a trend bag and it comes in a few different colours. It does come in black as well. Black wasn't there and I don't, I'm not surprised because it's not going to be a, a colour in this bag that's going to end up in an outlet. But I do quite like this lavendery shade and I've got a few other bags in this colour including, I've got a Chanel bag in this colour as well and I do like the shade. This I've been enjoying though, I absolutely love it. I bought it for around about a thousand pounds, I think it was one thousand and fifteen pounds, down from nearly two thousand, so I'm quite pleased with the price of it. Incidentally, in this, I actually have a new bag that you've never seen before, and I need to get your opinion on it because I think it's trend and I'm I feel I do feel quite on the fence with it, but I'm gonna explain why it is that I'm thinking about not sending it back because basically I got it for I got it for like a lot of money off and that's what's really conflicting with me here anyway the next trend uh, how many of you feel that the 30 montane is potentially a trend bag feel like it could be there have been other bags in the past from Dior like the Diorama the Dior Ever um, probably quite a few more. There have been quite a few bags with the exception of the Lady Dior which come out and then they get discontinued. And some of you will have seen the Bobby bag at the moment. I feel like the Bobby bag might, might be a replacement for this one. But I love it. I really like this oblique pattern. If I stand back and show you. So I, do you know what I mean? I, okay, it doesn't massively go with this outfit, but I, I love it, I really like it, and it's one that I enjoy wearing. And I haven't got sick of it, I haven't got tired of it at all. I can't see myself ever selling it, except for if the oblique print goes out of style. Because it's not that I don't like it, it's that sometimes when you have a print like this, a bit like the Louis Vuitton monogram in the white and the black, when they discontinue it and time moves on, it can end up being quite a difficult print in the current day and age to work into a look. But yeah, this is it, really like it. By the way, I'm gonna link to this shirt below. The trousers are from Chanel, a short while ago actually, they're not current at all. But um, yeah, I quite like them. How many of you are surprised to see this here? This is definitely a trend bag as far as I'm concerned but I'm really glad I bought it. Tell you what this bag is really good for, apart from the fact it looks really sweet and it's like made out of a teddy material, so it's squishy. This bag is great when you don't want something that costs a fortune or that is really in people's faces. I know you might think, well, it's got a huge logo on it, it's in people's faces. No, but what I mean about it is because it's material and it's quite, do you see what I mean? There's no structure to it, really, until you've put stuff in it. It doesn't feel like a super expensive bag that you are taking out and it feels very formal. It kind of is more like, a, it's more like a casual bag and it's a bag that I enjoy wearing when I want to be more casual. I actually had one of you a couple of days ago uh, you spoke to me because you were looking to get this in the non-Teddy uh, version, like in the nylon, and you were saying, should I get it, or could it end up being a trend? And I actually think, although they're gorgeous bags, they're the best thing to have if you've already got a collection and you don't care, you just like it, if you want one bag in your life. I don't think these are it. Let me show you this as well. I really wish, actually, now that I see it, I really wish that I had something more formal in here, like a fl classic flap, because obviously that bag is gorgeous, but it is very formal and it does feel very, 
expensive. You know I've spoken to you guys before about luxury judgments. And this bag, although it's got that big logo, because it is, because there's nothing to it and it just squishes down into nothing. Don't worry, it pops back out again. I don't feel when I use it like I'm being really flash. Um, and so that's really what I'm trying to say. But yeah, this is it. Sits nicely on the shoulder. I absolutely love this next bag. It's the Louis Vuitton can bag. I had one of you the other day in the comments, you wrote to me and you said, should I go and buy it? It was actually in the video that I did last year where I unboxed it. And I said at the time I felt torn about this bag because it is a weird shape. But, um, and I had a lot of you saying, I think you should keep it, it's quite cool. And the person who wrote last week was on that video saying, should I buy it? I feel in the same situation. I feel like it's not a classic. I had a lot of you that are really in, into Louis Vuitton and you know what you're talking about. You said that this actually is a classic, but this is called the Can Bag. And it's a bag that you said had been around since I think 94. So from that point of view, it's not, not classic. It's just a very quirky shape and quirky design. And I use it a lot because it fits more than you'd think. It even fits, for example, I can't show you it right now because I'm using it, but the camera that I use, I can actually fit the camera in this bag plus all of my other stuff. I can, I do have like an organizer in there at the moment, but it's a really decent size. Also comes with a shoulder strap so that you can wear it cross body. Two more and then I really need to show you this new one. How weird's this? But it's cute. Well, I think so anyway. This is from Loewe and some of you might know that that brand, they normally do elephant bags. Well, I don't know if they still do it, but you know I have two house rabbits and I love rabbits. They came out with this bag a couple of years ago and I bought this on Louisa Via Roma at, at Cyber Weekend and we all need to keep a look on there at Cyber Weekend because they normally do some crazy discounts. And I bought this for, it must have been about 40% off and it comes in different colours. The gold was the only one left, which is probably why it was 40% off, but actually I don't mind it. It's got like a flat bottom, so it stands up quite nicely. So if you're watching this thinking, mm, I, I don't care about trend bags, you know, I've, I've got the money, I just wanna buy a bag that I love, that's fine. But really, I just want to talk to any of you who, like me, like I, I buy a lot of bags, as you know, because I love bags, but I do, generally speaking, put quite a lot of thought into what I buy. Um, of course, I do, you know, as I just said, I do buy what I like, but I also do think about what it is that I buy. So this is it when you wear it. Some of you will think it's ridiculous. It actually is in many ways, but, I just love the way it looks and it fits my phone who would have thought it actually fits my uh, iPhone and probably as well I don't know where it is I was going to show you guys but I have had um, quite a few of you asking me about the Sam Samsung flip I really like it I feel like the operating system on it's changed if you're an Apple person which I am I found that on my previous Samsung I didn't really know how things worked everything was all over the place but I think things have changed because I find this a lot more intuitive to use now finally for this new one and I really don't know what to do but let me explain this is uh, from Bottega and it's the Jody bag in the smallest size. It's turned up from Louisa Via Roma, and let me explain why I'm torn with it. I've been looking at this bag since summer 2020, and I kept putting it off. Um, it's, it was £1,425. There has recently been quite a big price increase from Bottega and I kept looking at it. I happened to be on the Louisa Via Roma website last week and at the bottom of the page, because I keep looking at it, was this bag and then next to it was the same bag but in a different colour and the price on the other bag was 1710 So a good, you know, couple of hundred pounds more. And I was really confused and when I went and looked at all of the Jody bags together, Every time I hit refresh on the page, the next, the bag in the next colour would jump up from 1425 to 1710. And it was like going through, anyway, this black bag was at the bottom of the page and I checked out really quickly and I got it for, for the reduced price. They're now all nearly 2000 pounds, which I wouldn't pay 2000 for this. But here's the other thing. So not only did I get it for that reduced price, 
but I also had on Louisa via Roma the more you shop on there you build up credits and you can convert it into real money by the time I had done that I had so many points actually I paid 580 pounds for this bag so do you see my dilemma if I return it and I change my mind I'm gonna have to pay nearly 2,000 which I wouldn't I still have my credit refunded but it would cost me more than what I paid which is 580 what do you think I do like it I've shown David and David's response is you've got nicer bags it's not it's not something that's bad let me um, stand back and show you definitely a trend bag but at 580 pounds down from 1425 I feel like it's kind of one that is worth keeping nearly forgot as well deal book tote this is my gym bag I know some of you will think that's a really bougie gym bag to be honest at my gym people turn up there in Louis Vuitton so this no one bats an eyelid well actually a lot of the girls there look at it and they come and ask me about it it's quite um, it's quite an eye-catching bag, but that's another what I think is probably a trend bag um, Long-term trend don't get me wrong, but I love it and I can't see myself ever selling that even if the Oblique pattern goes out of style if you are thinking of buying a trend bag and you don't want to miss out do those tips that I said which is consider buying pre-loved buy it and don't care and just use it and know that it's gonna date and then you probably won't want to wear it at some point or buy it enjoy it and then sell it right before it starts to dip thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video